Hey traders, it's Jeff with Simply Derivative, and here's the daily recap for Thursday, May 2nd. Taking a look at the ES after hours. Um, just want to highlight quickly a short trade that we were able to take today. Um, let me see, where is my... Let me see where it is. There it is. Um, basically what we did today, we saw the markets pull back yesterday after the Fed announcement. Um, and then we had some continued weakness in the after hours yesterday um, until finally um, we had a rally back up uh, to about 29.32. And you can see here we labeled the Globex high or overnight high here uh, during the 24-hour session. As the market opened up, prior to the market opening up here, you can see that uh, we basically sold off and retraced about 50% of this move from the overnight move up. Um, and then once the market opened, you can see that we rallied uh, basically back up to the highs uh, right off the bat. And our plan for the day uh, was a short uh, at the break of the Globex high. Once we got above that, um, we, we look to get short at 29.32 uh, around that area with a stop above uh, a few points higher. And you can see that once we tagged that Globex high of 32 quarter, price was not able to close above that. And you got a confirmation of some bearish pressure coming in. And once that was in place, uh, we knew that we had uh, a good chance of having a, a, a winning short trade. And that's exactly what came came about. Uh, if you look at the 240 minute, the 32 quarter level right here, uh, you can see that this was the pre-market high, just like you can see it on the 15 minute. We use multiple time frames as confluence to confirm the levels that we're looking for. And basically, uh, once that 32 quarter was pierced, we took a short and you can see what happened the rest of the day. If we're not able, if the market is not able to close above and basically get through the overnight high, we expect it to get back to the Globex low. And that's exactly what happened. You can see had a strong move through that. And we actually tested 2900, got down to 2901. Um, and so as the market fell, uh, we had our profit targets on the way down. And that was our main trade for the day. That was the trade plan right off the off the uh, the get go it was a short on the breakthrough of the Globex high, we got a couple pokes above it. And once that confirmed, we were able to take that short and we wrote it down. Uh, later in the day, there was another long opportunity towards 2900 uh, to get long on this five minute. But our main trade today and our biggest profit, our biggest winner today was the short, obviously, and basically had a, a almost a 30 point winner on that um, to the downside. So. Uh, that was our short for the day. You can see it on the five minute here as well. The 32 quarter prices rallied up, started to slow down, and then you got confirmation on the smaller time frame as well. You can see that on the 15 minute and then on the on the 240 minute. What we look for is basically when you get a hammer candle like this at an area where price can't get above the prior candle, that third candle is what we're looking for to pierce or break above these two and then reverse. And that's exactly what happened. You combine that with the Globex high, the overnight high area, not being able to get above that. And that was our shorting opportunity for the day. And so that's basically what happened today. And you can see the market has retraced part of that move. Um, but for us, that was our big winner for the day, and that's what we wanted to point out for you guys. And so we're going to see if we're going to retest 2900. If not, we're probably going to rally back up towards 2950. Um, we'll see how we close out the week uh, going forward. Tomorrow is Friday, and um, uh, we're going to see if we can get back above uh, the high from yesterday uh, or today, the Globex high, and continue to push up. Uh, back up to that 2950 area. If not, we'll probably retest 2900. And so we're just having to see what happens the rest of the night. Um, and then going into tomorrow, we'll have a daily trade plan uh, right out the gate. And um, we're going to be doing a live stream. So we'll be going over that, the pre-market prep and our daily trade plan in the morning. So if you guys want to join us, 
uh, please do. It will be on our YouTube page and Twitch channel as well. And we'll be trading for about an hour, um, an hour and a half, uh, a little bit before market uh, opens and then through the market open till about 7, 7.30 uh, Pacific Standard Time. So uh, like I said, feel free to join us, YouTube channel or Twitch page. We're going to be live streaming. We're going to be day trading the ES here and uh, really going to finish out the week strong and, and uh, see what the market wants to do. And that's it for tonight, guys. So, like I said, be sure to join us on YouTube. Join us on our Twitch page. Be sure to check us out at simplyderivative.com if you guys want to know more about day trading and day trading futures specifically, um, the ES specifically. Check us out, simplyderivative.com. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you tomorrow in the morning.